A reward of $1,500 is being offered for information that will lead to the person responsible for setting illegal steel traps in Live Oak. These traps are nasty. A squirrel was actually caught or was found caught in one of these traps this past weekend. Action News 8 reporter Phil Gomez is live with an update from the Santa Cruz County Animal Shelter. Phil? Uh, Aaron, these uh, traps are banned in California because of the pain and suffering they cause to the animals. Now, we, before we go to the story, uh, a warning that it could be graphic for some viewers. We uh, heard the squirrel sort of flailing in our backyard and uh, I ran out to check on it. It was a little traumatic uh, to see a little creature suffering that way for sure. These are the two steel traps that were on the squirrel, one on its front paw, the other on its rear leg. The injured squirrel was taken to Native Animal Rescue, but there was little they could do. We uh, unfortunately decided to, to euthanize it. It would not be a good quality of life um, to have to continue that way. Santa Cruz County Animal Services searched for additional traps but didn't find any, and now they're seeking help from the Sheriff's Office. In addition, we've currently um, submitted the traps to the Sheriff's Department for both fingerprint and DNA analysis. Originally, a $1,000 reward was offered by the shelter, but an anonymous donor has pledged an additional 500 bucks. Neighbors are thankful that none of their pets were injured. We have, you know, cats, dogs, small children. We, we have no idea where these traps were set. And, you know, besides being illegal to trap wild animals, these are super dangerous, even for the person trying to set them. If you have concerns about wild creatures, Animal Services recommends using other methods to address them. If anyone has nuisance wildlife complaints, they should contact Wildlife Emergency Services and they can help them uh, mitigate the problem without actually causing harm to the animals. If caught, the person involved could face fines of three to $1,000 and wind up in county jail for possibly a year, along with additional charges for animal cruelty. In Santa Cruz, Phil Gomez, KSBW, Action News 8.